You're stronger than you think. You really are. If you've ever had to take a test and you've crammed for that test, think about that. Pretend that you have a test on Friday and today is Thursday. You've done maybe half of the homework and it's due tomorrow at 8 a.m. and it is now 2 p.m. on Thursday. So you have to finish the homework and then you still have to go back and study. What are you gonna do? You're probably going to cram. Think about every cramming session you've ever had. Think about that. When I have crammed for tests, and I have plenty of times, my results have been mixed. Usually, it helps. It certainly helps to study. It's worth doing it. It's not fun. It's something you should try to avoid. You should try to study before the test and have time so you don't have to cram, but the reality is we all do it at some point. And so, looking back after my cramming sessions, I would take the test, and I'd usually do okay, but the interesting part was, I would always look back and ask myself the following question. Why couldn't I study like that, like I studied on the day I crammed, every single day? And that was a great question to ask myself because it gave me inspiration. It gave me hope. It gave me strength because I was looking at what I just did. I just studied for 10 hours straight. I did all these integrals. I did all these hard math problems. I even did the word problems. I felt unstoppable. I learned so much math in one day. You know, I go over everything. That's what you do when you cram, right? You go over all the material, everything for the test in one day. Think about that. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? You spend three weeks, four weeks covering material, and then you're gonna go over all of it in one day. Come on, does that make sense? It shouldn't, right? Because why do you spend three weeks on it if you can do it in a day? I guess you're reviewing, but still. I mean, I was, I was finishing the homework and then going back and studying it. I mean, you've done it, I'm sure you have. That's called strength. It lives inside all of us. It shows up in moments of adversity. That's a moment of adversity, right? You have pressure, you have this test, and you know that you have to do it, and you have to study, and if you don't study, you're gonna fail, and so you have to take action. When you take action, that takes some of the stress off. Every math problem you solve, everything you learn, you start to feel better about your future because you know that that future event, the test, is going to go a little bit better. And that's why studying puts you at peace. You know, that's why it's not good to cram. It's good to do everything early so you can be relaxed. Great strength comes in adversity. There's stories, and I don't know the details, but I've heard this from other people, that some people have exhibited, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard this, superhuman strength in moments of adversity. Like something happens and like all of a sudden they're able to pick up a car. I mean, I've, I don't know if that's true, but I've heard stuff like this and I think, I think it might be somewhat true. People find strength in tough situations. And so the trick is to try to harness that strength so that you can actually use it all the time. And that's really hard because you gotta think about the cramming situation, right? You're put into a, a, a position where you have to act. And a lot of times you don't want to, <laughs> right? No one likes to cram, it's not fun, it's, it's, it's terrible. But you do it because you have to. You, you have a sense of urgency. And so what you can do is you can work on creating that sense of urgency, but try to create it in a positive light. You see, the sense of urgency that you, you got from cramming on the test, that is a very negative feeling, right? Because it's like, oh, if I don't do this thing, I'm going to fail. So that, that puts pressure on you, creates stress. Instead, you want to have a different kind of strength. You want to have the strength to say, okay, I, I really want to do math because I'm going to get better at it 
and you know what? I'm gonna study all day today and it's gonna be awesome and I'm gonna have a great time and I'll order some pizza, whatever. Just make it fun, make it positive. And that's hard. It's hard because human beings, again, in some sense we're wired for survival, right? And so when you have that situation in front of you, like, like the test, it's like survival. You have to pass that test. You feel like it's the most important thing ever and so you cramp. That's where that strength comes from. Strength. Find your strength. A really good way to find that strength is, first of all, to believe. Believe that you can do whatever it is you're trying to do. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's something that you have to do, right? You have, you have to figure that out. You have to decide to believe in yourself. No one, if someone believes in you, if someone else believes in you, I mean, that helps too. That can help give you some self-belief. But at the end of the day, you have to believe in yourself. And I believe in you. I mean, I don't even know who you are, but I believe in you. Because I believe that people, people have strength. You have strength. You're a person. You have strength. People are incredibly strong. People are capable of working incredibly hard. I, I had a student once. She was older. And she used to come to my office all the time. I really liked her. She was really fun. She was a really good person. And she was, in a, she was in a couple of my classes, algebra, statistics. And she had a really hard time with learning mathematics. And she struggled. But she showed up every day to class. She took all the tests. She did all the homework. She was always in my office asking questions, always very polite. And she would spend her entire day studying. Now, I realized that. Not everyone has that luxury, right? Well, I don't want to use the word luxury. Spending the entire day studying is pretty hard. So I realize that not everyone can do that because you might have a responsibility. Um, but that's a lot of work, right? I've never seen anyone work that hard. I mean, even, even some graduate students. I mean, this, this, this woman was unstoppable. She had this motivation, this desire, and what made it even more interesting about her, it wasn't just her work ethic. I'm getting goosebumps here. This is, this is a true story. It's that when she failed, she handled it so well, you know? Like, I would give her a problem. i say, here, here's how you do this problem. And then I had a little whiteboard in my office. So I said, oh, you go to the board and you do it. And so she'd get up and I'd give her the marker. It was kind of fun, you know? And I'm sitting there watching her on the whiteboard, and they're like, oh, will she get it right? I, hope she, I was like, oh, I was really, really, I was really rooting for her. Like, you can do it, you can do it. I was so hoping she would figure it out. All I did was I gave her an example. I just changed some of the numbers slightly. I, I forgot what it was. And she, she couldn't do it. And she's like, oh, I got it wrong. Oh, it's like, all right. So then so I give her another example, and I'd work it out. I'd work it out for her. And uh, she'd go back up to the board, and she'd try again. And she'd get it wrong again. And I was like, oh, God, I felt so bad for her. I'm like, oh, poor girl, poor woman, you know? And she handled it really well. And she just kept getting back up again. I remember one time, she, we did like 10 examples, and she finally got it at the end, like the 10th example. I'm not exaggerating. I think it was 10. She finally got it. And then she took the test, and then she got the question wrong. And, you know, I saw her after that. And she was in good spirits. She was motivated. I think that just shows strength. She knew that she would do whatever it takes to succeed and she wasn't going to let anything phase her. That is true strength and determination. I think if this woman, I mean, she, she probably could do anything. <laughs> so really unstoppable, right? And it's just not what you would expect from some random older student in a basic algebra class. Right? Not what you would expect. You wouldn't expect, you know, people think, oh, you know, the calculus students, those are the good students, or oh, they're taking hard math. No, 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 no. It's not so much about being good at math, because anyone can become good at math with enough time and effort. You can. But it's just about just seeing her strength, her willpower, and her positive attitude throughout the whole thing. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to crush this, and yes, you know. No, no, it was, she was just very happy and content and just always really relaxed. 
that's another thing I should mention. You know, when you're when you're studying and you're, you're trying to find your strength, um, try to be relaxed while you do it. Try to relax yourself, right? Take a deep breath, focus. Try to approach it from a, like a stressful standpoint. And I know that's hard because many times when you're studying, you're doing it because you have some pressure in front of you. But the mind, I feel people learn better when they're in like this relaxed state of mind. Like this woman, she was always very happy, always very relaxed, and she handled those failures like a champion. I mean, a lot of people, they'll fail once and they're like, oh, it's over. <laughs> they, just, they just give up. It's really weak. No, don't do that. Right? Don't do that. Failure is part of it. You have to fail. Fail forward, as they say, right? If you think about it, this example with the, with the math problem, every time she tried a problem, that, that was the same type of problem, she, she, she continually failed. If she would have quit, she would have never solved the problem. But she solved it on that, I think it was the 10th try. The bad part about this story is that she got it wrong on the test. I'd really love to say, oh, she got it right and everything was great, but that would be a story that's not true, telling you a true story. So she got it wrong on the test, which makes it even worse. But she passed the class, she got a good grade, she got her degrees. I'm sure she has a job now and life is good. But you have strength. You can find that strength. Yeah, you can find that strength. I know you do. So believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it. Realize that the only way you're going to accomplish anything in life, whether it be pass a test, get a job, whatever, is to take action. Right? Take action. Take action. Take action. I want you to do something. If you're still watching this video, I'm going to leave you with something you can try, something actionable. So after this video is over, I want you to think about a time in your life specifically where you did something good, like something big, something strong. Because I know, I know you have it. I know you people have done amazing things. I've, I've known people that have, I mean, risen from the ashes, right? People have a lot of strength. So think about a situation where you showed strength and you feel good about that. You feel like, I guess proud is a good word, but you feel good about yourself for doing that thing. Like, yeah, you know, I have strength, I can do it. Because what that does is it gives you confidence. And if I can give you just a little bit of confidence from this video, then mission accomplished, right? Confidence is key. When you believe in yourself, it's key. If you work hard, you do the best you can, believe in yourself, you're probably going to have a pretty good life. Anyways, I should end this video. If you want to learn math, check out my courses. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. I have courses on college algebra, um, calculus one, two, three, differential equations, um, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, and several other courses. I have so many that I can't even name them all. I can, but it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of courses. Check them out if you want to. If not, that's okay too. Think about a time in your life, okay, where, where you showed that strength. And leave a comment. I'm curious. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. If don't, it's okay. But when you leave those comments, it helps people, especially inspirational stories uh, about strength. I mean, that's, those are fun to read. So, yeah. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Take care.